Hey Leo, what's up Leo? Welcome back to the channel. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Or whatever you guys have Leo in your charts. Alrighty. Um, and I'm putting on the Barbie butter, y'all. Just in case y'all want to know. Because I'm about to be shining. <laughs> and this has been selling out like crazy. Um, but yes, y'all. Um, this reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Or whatever you guys um, have Leo in your chart. Do keep in mind that this is general. And that it may or may not resonate with all of my Leos out there. But if it does. If it does. Share us some love. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if y'all would love to book with me, fireintuition.com. Alrighty. Um, Leo. What the fuck is going on, Leo? We we are in seventh place, Leo. Last week we were like in fourth or fifth. Like, Leo, we gotta get these views up. Like, come on now, what's going on? I know it's not gonna hit every time. I know it's not gonna always correlate and resonate, but Leo, where is the love at, okay? Like, I don't know, Leo. I ain't liking that, okay? Seventh place. I know we're not going to always win, but, you know, I got better, you know, I thought you know, we were going to do better than that. Leo, so let's hop in, Leo. Let's start with the Angel God Oracle deck, and let's see what your, angel, your angels want you to know. All right, and then we'll hop into the love portion of the reading. All right, let's see, Leo. Universe, spirit, my ancestors, please guide me through this reading for Leo. What do they need to know in here at this time? Leo. Let's see, Leo, what does Leo need to know? You see how that flew up in the air? Leo, what's going on with y'all? Energy, signs, and reminders. All right, so I've never had this card, so this will be new for me because, yes, this, let's see what this is, okay? Look, as soon as I open up, I got raise your vibration. Virgo had that, so maybe y'all are needing to raise your vibration too, okay, um, Leo? So let's see what's going on with y'all. Okay. It says, angels love to send us signs because often we're not in a space where we can fully listen to their guidance. Most of the time, because we're too busy, are not willing to listen to the messages we hear on the inside. And signs catch our attention. They remind us that our angels and loved ones in spirit are with us and willing to help us. If you have ever found yourself questioning certain events or signs, it's because somewhere within you, you don't feel fully adequate or worthy of the love that is being shown to you. Know that you are deserving and worthy. When you receive a sign, there is an important step that you must take in order to usher miracles into your life. Call in help. A sign is a message that help is available. So welcome it with an open heart. Okay? So, Leo. Um, let me read the additional message. These are all messages of support. You are on the right path and you are being guided to know that you do not walk this path alone. In times of need, angels are beside you, blessing your heart with love and healing. And your angels and loved ones in heaven will never leave you. Their love will never die. So Leo, you guys have a lot of people to call on to, okay? Um, it can be your, your angels, your ancestors, spirit, God, source, universe, whoever you guys believe in, Allah, whoever, you know? Whoever you guys believe in, whatever your religion, your race, I mean, not your race, I'm sorry, your um, spiritual beliefs, your religion, whatever it is, okay? Because we all have different beliefs, okay? We all come from different backgrounds, but whoever you believe in, they're there and right by your side and they will help and guide you, Leo, all right? If you guys are seeing numbers and threes, look it up. That is very important, I feel, for a lot of you guys, okay? So make sure you guys are paying attention to signs, synchronicities, reminders. The reminders part is a scene like, it's your angels reminding you that you are loved, but you also have to know that you are worthy and deserving, Leo. And maybe you just haven't been feeling that lately. Maybe you just don't feel as worthy. Maybe you just don't feel as deserving. All right. But you are. All right. So let's hop into the love portion of your reading. Let's see what the current energy is around you, Leo. All right. Let's see. Current energy around my Leos. What is the current energy around Leo? Current energy around Leo. Current energy around Leo. Let's see. Current energy around Leo. So we have searching for Prince Charming. So some of you guys are searching for Prince Charming. 
okay it could be a virgo it could be our sagittarius because remember the virgo um the knight of pentacles is usually virgo energy and it's on a horse even though all of them you know come in on different ways but i don't know why i thought of sagittarius or virgo we have bad girl okay leo y'all been a bad girl some of y'all got pink nails all right on um, right like you got your nails painted pink we have getting getting it money grind so some of y'all are on a on a grind the rival so there's a rival around you guys somebody is hating all right so somebody is hating i wonder what this rival is so maybe you guys have found the one or you feel like you guys found the one but there can be a rival all right um and in between that or you know while this is going on you guys are getting to the bag getting to the money there can also be somebody that's trying to stop and block your money there can be some money blockages around you right now leo caught and exposed hmm. um i think virgo had that card to skip birth control so leo are y'all not taking out birth control or did somebody skip their birth control all right even if it's not birth control i feel like it could be some type of medicine or something that y'all are needing to take some of you guys have did some type of ritual to bring somebody back to you. Somebody is lying and because we got storytelling. Goody, good girl. Okay, so let's see. What's in the middle of the deck? All right, so you feel like somebody is playing stupid or trying to play you, Leo. But let's see. Why is the rival card here for Leo? Go on to the rival. Why is the rival card here? Sexual encounter. Yeah, so somebody... So your person was lying, all right? There's somebody that wants your person. Yeah, and they might be willing to do anything. Somebody is playing stupid. Some of you guys could feel like, no, like my relationship is perfect. I got the one. My person will never do this to me. Or, you know, you thought you guys have met the one and you're finding something out, all right? So let's see the person that is on your mind, Leo. The person that is on Leo's mind. The person on Leo's mind. The person on Leo's mind. The person on Leo's mind. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. The Page of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Y'all could definitely be dating that Earth sign, Twitter, Virgo, Capricorn. All this Earth energy here. Wow, all Earth energy. Ten of Pentacles at the at the bottom of the deck. So, Leo, all I'm going to say is, um, for some of you guys, they sold you a hope, dream, and a wish. All right? Um, because there is some type of imbalance here. For sure. Somebody made an offer, but it's small. It's nothing big. It's nothing major. And I feel like you guys haven't made it to the next level yet. Okay? It's like things like this person is playing small. Like, you know, like they just, they feel or expect for you to hold on or keep giving in to them. Okay? Um, and I feel like what they're doing or how they're moving, this is unfair. Because they... For some of you guys are giving me the bare minimum, Leo, and I don't like it, okay? Um, we have the seven of pentacles in reverse. So you guys are at a point where you're just like, you know, like, should I even continue investing in this relationship? Now, for some of you guys, this is somebody trying to come back and finish what y'all started, which is why the searching for Prince Charming was here because this person charmed you, you know, stepped you off your feet and they're coming back. But now they got this rival, somebody that they had a sexual encounter with, all right? And this person is about to get caught and exposed or somebody's going to tell all, you know, what happened between them and somebody else. We also got the bad girl card here. So, let's see. Let's see, Leo. I've been working hard, focused on your money. And this person is just playing games behind the scenes. Look, Knight of, of Wands in reverse. So, Sagittarius Energy. We got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. We got the King of Pentacles. So, you weren't the only one, Leo. Like, this person is showing up as like, yeah, baby, we're together. I'm committing to you. But then they got this rival. They got this other situation. A lot of earth energy. The thing is, Leo, is that they fell in love with you. And I feel like in the beginning, you weren't the only one. But they charmed you, swept you off your feet. Y'all fell for each other, you know. And things were fine at first, you know. And it looks like this person got caught up. They did make some type of offer. But it looks like I said they're playing small. It's something small. And for some of y'all, y'all been really nasty, freaky, kinky, dirty, doing all type of stuff with this person. I don't mean dirty as in you're dirty, but like getting, you know, like freaky, nasty with this person. All right. We got the queen of pentacles at the bottom. Some of y'all really think that this is, yeah, like this is my man. This is my woman. We're in a relationship. We have a situation. So y'all did accept this person's offer. Is what it looks like. We got this page of pentacles. We got the four of wands. Be careful, Leo. Some of you guys are moving in together. Some of you guys are maybe moving a little too fast. You know, or you're, you got it together and you're stable and they see that. So they could see this as an opportunity as well, Leo. All right, let's see why this four of wands is here with this page of pentacles. King of swords. Yeah, they thought it was a smart move. Yeah, that's a smart move. So 
y'all got into a relationship some of you guys are in a relationship and living together or they just moved in or that's what y'all are talking about i don't know leo i think you should kind of slow down a little bit okay some of you guys could be dealing with this person on and off for like years we got a lot of pentacles here okay all the four pentacles here two of wands in reverse some of you guys yeah like you've been holding on to something that you just feel like isn't really going anywhere it's not really meeting your expectations this is you leo the strength card in reverse frustrated mad annoyed frustrated justice is here so a lot of truth is also coming out too could be a libra involved Mm -hmm. Why is the seven of pentacles in reverse? Three of cups. So somebody is definitely trying to keep this relationship alive, moving forward, going, trying to reconnect with you. For some of you guys, you're nervous, you're scared because this is like, you're just like, it's a lesson learned. We got the lovers in reverse. Some of you guys are trying to detach yourself from this connection now. You don't want to give in to it anymore. You're just like, nope, I learned my lesson. I'm not about to be a fool. But at the same time, could be a Gemini or a Scorpio. I feel like, Leo, you're saying this, but this person is still around. Some of you guys might let this person back in. We got the death card in reverse, Leo. Okay, so even after the truth comes out or something gets exposed or you find out about some type of secret, I do see you being mad and very upset. But then I also see you guys still, like, holding on. Even though you guys attached yourself, there was a love triangle. There was some type of third-party energy here. We see that, okay? Um, and I just don't like the fact that you weren't the only one and they... You know, we're like, oh, let's be together. Let's move in. Let's have this relationship. I'm going to be honest with you. You're everything I want to need. You felt like they swept you off your feet. And now some type of truth is coming out. So it's like it's going to change a lot of things. But for some of you guys, it's going to change the situation. But I don't see you letting go. Why is the death card in reverse for Leo? Not a wand. See, I see them coming back, Leo. You know, I got to keep it 100. This is you, Leo. You are the strength card look to a pentacles so a part of you is like you're gonna let them back and you then after you let them back you're gonna go like dang like i don't know should i have let them back you know so y'all know i'm a leo at the end of the day i'm not judging i never would judge any sign but i just have to keep a real deal i see you guys being very mad and frustrated but then i also see you guys giving right back into the situation okay so let's see leo let's see what this person wants you to know What does this person want real to know? What does this person want real to know? What does this person want real to know? We have the life I'm living is not going how I imagine. So something in their life is falling apart. Something in their life is just, you know, upside down. Maybe what they thought was gonna happen is not happening. You know, maybe they thought they can just play this little game, have you, the other person, you know, or maybe their life is just in shambles. Who knows? I don't know why I can't seem to stop watching you. So somebody cannot stop watching you. They're obsessed or they keep stalking or following you, you know, or they're on your social media or they're watching videos of you or maybe looking at pictures or things that you sent them. All right. Um, let's see. We have I've been miserable without you. So this person has been very miserable without you, Leo. Okay. So. If that's the case, that means that you guys are in some type of separation or not talking right now. I will take you back. All you have to do is ask. Hmm, that's interesting. That's very like, so they're just like, oh, I'll, I'll take you back, Leo. All you got to do is ask. Like, really? After they didn't did what they did? Mm. Leo, they got some nerve. The nerve of their ass, okay? The nerve of them. The audacity, Leo. Let me sit my damn V8 drink. <laughs> but I just can't believe that. Let's see what is to happen next, Leo. Mm. They're going to try to find a way to get out of this situation to where it's not complicated or to where they're back on your good side. I do see an argument in the future. Could be with an Aquarius. I do see you guys bumping heads, arguing, not getting along. Let me see. Why is there seven of cups here for Leo? Just for what's happening next. Let me see. The tower. There's going to be a tower moment. 
y'all are gonna get into it really bad but surprisingly it's gonna bring you guys together so leo i feel like you're gonna be to the point where you want them to prove their love or they are going to finally prove their love for you and fight for this relationship, fight for this connection is what it looks like here. Because they know they got something good, like you're a good woman or a good man to them. You're grown, you got it together, you got your money, your money's up, your money's good, you're living well, you know, and they're not stupid. I don't know. I just thought they did something. They, they just made a huge mistake, but not to say that that, you know... They made a mistake, take them back. No, I see y'all taking them back anyway, Leo. Y'all can y'all can cuss me out in the comments, fight me if y'all want to. But I gotta tell y'all what I see. A lot of y'all, I would just say 50-50 of y'all are gonna, you know, 50 of y'all are gonna get them back. 50% of y'all are gonna get back with them. Maybe the other 50 of y'all aren't, you know. But I don't see this person leaving your life for good. I don't see them out of your life. So let's see, Leo. Let's see. Why this King of Swords here? Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they some type of truth, something is gonna be is gonna be exposed. Yep, see the two of swords in reverse. They can no longer lie about a situation. All right, and I thought you had some thinking to do. But the thing is, Leo, is when you get back with them, after you guys get back together, that's when the truth is gonna come out for sure. So let's rewind a little bit. Something is gonna be in, exposed, right? All right, something's gonna come out, it's gonna make you mad. Y'all are gonna get into it. But it's going to be after y'all have this tower moment and y'all are in a different place or space where like everything is finally going to come out. So, I mean, what are you going to do then, Leo? Look, the emperor in reverse. Some of you guys are going to feel like, wow, you manipulated me. Like, you like you try to control the situation because the emperor is in reverse. That's somebody trying to control when or how they're going to tell you something. Because remember, we're clarifying the king of swords. Mm-hmm. So, I feel like they're going to tell you certain things, maybe for y'all to get back together and talk about it, work it out. But the true truth is not going to come out until after the fact. Mm -hmm. And they feel like it's only right for them to tell you. Let me go into this. I was the Empress is here. Well, some of you guys are going to keep bringing it up. And they're going to get frustrated. It's going to slip out in an argument. Mm -hmm. It's going to come out. It's going to naturally come out the truth. See, it's going to slip out in an argument. So the truth will come out in an argument between you guys. And for some of you guys, you're just going to, you're going to be hurt again. So Leo, I mean, I, I mean, just by saying it, I'm not saying that your person is going to say it, but I'd be like, look, if you really love me, if I really need anything to you, tell me everything I need to know now. Like, tell me the truth now. Like, I need to know it all. Because I don't want you guys to go back to this same place or space emotionally again with this person. Because that's what it looks like. And then we got the star reverse, like ready to give up. Like, you know, losing hope and faith in this connection. Page of Pentacles. They're going to try to come back in with the offer. You know, like, oh, I'll give you your time and your space. You know, they're going to apologize, you know, and hope that y'all are still going to try to, you know, work it out. This person is definitely going to feel some type of way. They're going to be like, I want to heal this relationship. They're going to feel stuck for a while. But they're glad that they got it off their chest. Even though it did come out the way they wanted it to. Okay? Um, and then it's like instantly this person wants to talk about commitment. I've seen that there. So it's like instantly this person is like, you know, I want to be with you. I want to marry you. I want you to be my wife one day. I want to have children. Like, are they going to tell you, like, I'm ready now. Like, let's definitely take things to the next level. You know, but it's going to be after this huge argument and all this bullshit goes on. See, look, this is on, in their, on their mind and their intentions. The higher font with the empress is like commitment, marriage. Like, I want you to be my wife. I want you to have my children. You know, the death card is here. The, the tower is here. Yeah, I told you it's going to be after y'all have this heated argument. That everything is going to come out. They're going to be like, yeah, that's not the end of us. This, this is a new beginning. You know, let's rebuild this relationship on a solid foundation. You know, what I did was fucked up. They are going to admit that they were wrong. But they're just, they're doing that so that y'all don't leave them. Yeah, they're going to tell you, like, I wasn't, you know, fully committed to this relationship. You know, I was playing games in the past, but I'm willing to work on it. Like, I, if you're willing to work with me, I'm going to change. I'm going to do everything I can. So you guys are going to get those kind of messages, you know, or talk from this person. So, I mean... Looking at the bottom of the deck, could this, you know, would they really do the work? For some of you guys, they are going to try to do the work and heal this relationship, you know, but 
Let's see, Leo. Let's pull some love cards, some additional love messages for Leo. Additional love messages for Leo. Additional love messages for Leo. Oh, damn. Okay. So at the bottom, we have air sign, crazy, but Gemini. Maybe you guys have air in your chart or you guys are dealing with somebody that's an air sign or has a lot of air in their chart. So we have, I'm becoming the man of your dreams. So maybe this person feels like they are, you know, making changes. They're becoming the man of your dreams. We do got vacation. So some of you guys could be going on some type of trip or vacation very soon. Or that's what they're planning to do. You know, spring break is coming up. We have divine feminine. That would be you, Leo. We have, I love our late night pillow talks. It turns me on. So this person misses talking to you and being open with you about a lot of things. We have, so they love when you guys spend time together. I think about you all day. And we have, I'm going to right my wrongs. So pretty much most of everything I said, you know, um, right before we pulled these cards. So Leo, I just feel like y'all have a lot to think about. You know, like I said, I'm not here to judge. I'm here to help. Okay, so you know what's best for you depending on your situation. Let's put some messages from spirit. These messages may or may not resonate with the reading because they're spirit messages, right? And it's what spirit wants you guys to know. So let's see. We have inner goddess. We have unconditional love. And then we have divine passion. All right. So let's clarify these. At the bottom, we got true love. So it says inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Uh-oh. So let's see what this is about. So with the inner goddess card, let's see. This is just from Leo. Why is this inner goddess card here? Soulmate. So for some of you guys, um, you guys are in a soulmate connection. And you guys are going through something within your soulmate connection. But it's helping you grow and evolve. And it's also helping you bring out your inner goddess. Okay? You guys know when we're in soulmate connection, soulmates help us grow and evolve. Okay, so this connection could be helping you grow and evolve, and it's helping you also step into your inner goddess. Okay, let's see. We have unconditional love. Love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. So, you guys are maybe going through something where you're learning a difference between, you know, conditional versus unconditional love. Or Leo, maybe you just have a lot of unconditional love within you for others. You know, and it's time for you to receive that, so it's time for it to be reciprocated. But let's see what this is about. Leo, unconditional love. We have regrets. So for some of you guys, you do regret giving unconditional love to this person or to somebody in your life. Or you feel like, why is it that I always pour my heart out and give my all to people and it's never received or reciprocated like I said. So you do have some regrets when it comes to unconditional love. Okay? Alright? Um, and then we have divine passion. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? So what do you truly desire? What is your what is your true desire? Your, your divine uh, passion, Leo. What is it that you really want to do? I feel like there could be a blockage here. Okay, let's see. All right, so this uh, flipped over. We have spring and under that we have celebration. All right, so around the springtime, Leo, you guys are going to connect with your higher self in a way to where you guys are going to release that like fire and passion that's inside of you and put it towards a project a business within your career something like that so spring is coming up what next month right so something is going to take off for you guys in the springtime Alrighty. try not to live or be in regrets leo it's not good it's not healthy going to regrets really quick for leo keep the faith yeah leo keep the faith think positive don't let this stop and block you from being the person you are you are a divine feminine, all right? Just look at it from a different perspective. Don't live or have regrets, you know, or resentment towards that person. Like, you were doing the right thing. You were being who you are, 
a, a very loving person, okay? So don't change that or don't stop loving people or being there or supporting people because one person messed it up. You know, they say how one person messes up for all. Yeah. All right, Leo. So this is your reading. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys love to book with me, you already know fireintuition.com. Already by my Leo fam. I love y'all, Leo. Keep your head up. Put that crown up. Put that crown on. Tilt it up. I love y'all. Okay. Stay strong, Leo. We got this. All right, loves. Bye, y'all.